Hi, how are you? I hope you're all well and safe. I was thinking the other day about when I was a kid, I used to get groin pains in my legs. And my mum used to give me this long red sock, which when I put it on, it relieved all the pain, magically. The pains were excruciating though, I remember them, and they were only ever at night. But when I put on this red sock, they went away. This red sock was my healer, my comfort, my redeemer, my release from this pain. And as I walk through life now as a reluctant, fully fledged adult, I realise that growing pains aren't just for kids. Every part of our life experience, our adulting experience, brings with it all kinds of aches and pains, mainly heartache and headaches. I now find myself the proud owner of two adult daughters. Alice will be 24 on the 13th of February and Molly will be 26 on the 15th of February. I have no idea how that happened. My babies are now adults themselves doing adulting things, be it reluctantly too. Molly and her husband Ben are at present looking to buy their first house together. And I am the constant recipient of WhatsApp messages containing Zoopla and Rightmove links to houses that they're looking at. So exciting, yet so scary, as there are so many pitfalls to buy in a house. And it breaks my heart that because of coronavirus and distance, I can't be where, there with them at this time, helping them through this adulting experience. Yet I also know that I need to take a step back and let them do this so that they learn the heartache and headache of buying a house by themselves. But I just want to protect my chicks from this cruel world. They're still my babies after all. Alice has just been made redundant from her job that she's been furloughed from for the last nine months. She's got rent and bills to pay and now has no idea how she's gonna pay her way. Bank of Mum is a little bit low on deposits at the moment. She's a professional musician which at this moment in history is not a good profession to be in. My heart aches for her and for all of her creative friends who work in the music and theatre industry, who are really, really struggling at this moment with adulting through no fault of their own. Parenting, no matter how old your kids are, comes with a multitude of concerns and fears wanting to help them in the ups and downs of their lives, protect them from making mistakes, be there for them, yet let them go and grow at the same time. The whole experience is wonderful, but it gives me a headache and a heartache at the same time. There are many days when I feel totally out of my depth. Where's that red sock when you need it? Now, I know it's not entirely biblical, but Jesus is now my red sock, the best red sock there is going. My red sock is no longer on my leg, but firmly wrapped around my heart. Jesus is my healer, my comfort, my redeemer, my release from all pain. He loves me and he loves my children even more than I do, which I do struggle to understand how that's possible. But I know and I have to trust that he is constantly watching over my girls, keeping them on the straight and narrow, walking their adulting journey with them, helping them to choose houses and pay bills. And with that, I have to learn to trust also that I've done a good job equipping them for the next challenges that they're gonna face in their lives. And in turn, trust them to make the right choices and pray. Pray that their choices are good ones. The Bible says in Proverbs 22 verse 6, direct your children onto the right path and when they were older they will not leave it. In the meantime, in the red sock moments, I turn to Jesus with my worries and my fears because, are you ready for this? Jesus is the sock, 
The sock of my salvation. Jesus is the sock. The sock of my salvation. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. And he can be yours too. Amen.